it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a look. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. So this is the look that I'll be doing for you guys today. And I wanted to do a very dramatic eye with dramatic bold lips. Something I never really do. I've been doing a lot of neutrals, a lot of nudes. You guys know I love my nudes. But I had to step out of my comfort zone. For the eyes, I use the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. Yes, I finally caved in and purchased some Kylie Cosmetics just to see what the hype was all about. Um, I did purchase the bronze palette. Maybe, when did it come out? Like maybe two months ago? I don't know. But I purchased the bronze palette. I thought it was cute. I didn't think it was anything special. I didn't think the eyeshadows were that pigmented. So I was just like, mm, okay, it's cute. So when I saw this palette all over Instagram and on Kylie Snapchat, I was just like, okay, <laughs> Kylie, you can have my money because I need this palette. And I absolutely love this palette. I love the shades. It's just perfect for fall. And I find that the eyeshadows are really pigmented compared to the first palette as well. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then please continue to watch. And if you like this look, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and let me know what you guys want to see next. So let's just jump right into the tutorial and I can stop babbling. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. Like always, I'm going to apply a base all over the eyelid. I'm using the Kat Von D concealer. Uh, you can use a concealer, you can use one of those paint pop things as a eyeshadow base. I love using a base because it just makes my eyeshadow last longer, it looks more pigmented. Now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You can use any translucent powder for this as well. The translucent powder is just going to help the eyeshadow to blend a lot easier. Next we're going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. Oh my gosh you guys, I'm in love with this palette. And the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is Penny which is like an orangey brown. Love this as a transition shade. And I'm going to pop that into the crease with a using a blending brush to blend of course. The brush that I'm using is from Anastasia. I think it's from my Mario palette. I really love this brush. Then I'm going to go in with another favorite eyeshadow from this palette which is Burgundy. It's a gorgeous burgundy shade and I'm gonna pop that into the crease and make it look a bit more defined now I don't know all the numbers of the brushes that I'm using so I will list them in a the description bar down below this time I promise I know I say that a lot and I always forget but I'm gonna list them all in the description bar down below okay so now I'm gonna go back into the concealer and reapply it onto the lid I want the crease to look a bit more defined and I really want the eyeshadows on my lid to really pop now I wasn't really sure when I first did this look what look I was gonna go for on the lid I thought I wanted to do the gold shadow which is LA but then I was like mm, I always do gold so let me switch it up so I did a mixture of LA and Dubai mixed together and I applied that onto the eyelid look how gorgeous that is it is so gorgeous and I'm just patting it onto the lid and then I'm gonna go ahead and of course blend 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 next I'm gonna go ahead and create a wing liner I'm using the Inglot 77 gel liner mine is kind of dried out so it was not giving me life today you guys so I'm gonna go in with my NYC liquid liner this liner is the bomb.com and I love using this on top of my gel because it just makes it look more black and intense. I can't use it on its own because I suck at using liquid liner, you guys. So I need my gel liner as a guide. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up that brow bone. And I'm just using some concealer that is about maybe two shades lighter than my skin tone. This will also act as a highlighter for my brow bone because I don't really like using eyeshadows on my brow bone area. Next, I'll be applying some false lashes to this look. I'm wearing the Slayla Lashes by Flutter. I'm going to go into the bronze palette and I'm going to grab the dark brown shade and pop that into the crease just to make it look a bit more defined. Now we're going to move on to the skin. I like to do my foundation and concealer before I do my bottom lash line. So I apply the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer which is my absolute favorite. It's just going to make my foundation look super flawless and minimize pores and you know do all that good stuff that it does. <laughs> Moving on, I'm going to do some color correcting and I'm just going to apply the orange shade concealer on my blemishes, my dark circles, and then I'm going to take a beauty blender sponge. 
So you want to make sure the beauty blender is damp, not soaking wet. I always squeeze mine out in a paper towel to get out the excess water. So we don't want it to be soaking wet. And I'm going to take that and blend in that concealer. Now we're going to move on to foundation. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC45. I love using this foundation when I want full coverage and a nice flawless bead. Now for my concealer, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 3.75 for my highlight. I do have a more detailed video on my foundation routine so if you're new to my channel you can check it out you guys this right here is my favorite powder ever this is the Mac studio fix perfecting powder I think that's what it's called but this is what I use to set my foundation some areas do tend to get shiny so I use this to set my foundation and I also apply a bit of the powder under the eye as well before I bake so now I'm gonna go ahead and bake and I'm adding a translucent powder under the eyes I don't use a lot of it it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder I place it under the eyes to bronze up my skin and for my contour I'm gonna use the matte mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deep the brush I'm using I believe this is the 112 Zueva brush and now I'm gonna go ahead and carve out that cheekbone so my cheeks look more defined so I'm just adding some of that Laura Mercy translucent powder under my contour and do a little hair flip and a dance yes okay let me get it together <laughs> okay so I don't let my um, loose powder bake for too long I probably leave it on for like maybe two minutes and then I'm gonna dust away all the excess powder okay so now we're gonna go ahead and complete the eye look I'm gonna take the eyeshadow penny and I'm gonna place that along the bottom lash line I'm also gonna place the eyeshadow burgundy along the bottom lash line as well so to brighten up the inner corner of my eyes and highlight, I'm going to use the eyeshadow Naked from the palette. Now you guys, I picked up this little trick by watching Makeup Shayla's channel where she apply uh, tiny little dots under her lash line and it actually makes the lashes look longer. It kind of makes me look like I'm wearing bottom lashes and I am so here for this technique. Now I'm going to go ahead and complete my brows. So what I use is the Benefit Precisely pencil and I use the Benefit's brow ready set brow. I think that's what it's called. I apply that first and then I'm going to complete the brows. If you guys want to see an updated brow tutorial, comment down below and let me know because my brow technique has changed a bit. So now we're going to move on to the blush. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs blush. It's like a peach tone. I love using a dual fiber brush to apply my blush because sometimes I can be a little heavy handed but I just like this how it makes my blush go on and you guys know how obsessed I am with the glow okay like my highlight needs to be what is it disrespectful and extra I love it so I'm using the makeup forever pro fusion um, highlight it's actually similar to the Laura Geller if you have it you can use that as well applied on the highest point of the cheekbones on my cupid's bow area and the tip of my nose now moving on to the lips, I want to do a dark, a sexy, a vampy lip look. So I'm going to take one of my old time favorites. This is Night Moth Lip Pencil by MAC. Oh my gosh, you guys. I used to be obsessed with this back in my old MAC days when I used to work at MAC. And I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics. Um, this is Spice. And it does come with a lip pencil, but I didn't want to use her lip pencil. I wanted the lip look to look. I wanted the lip to be more dark and vampy. So, so yeah, I paired it with Knife Mott and now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my lip line. I don't use concealer. I just use the powder to clean up the lip line and this is pretty much the completed look. I love this look. I hope you guys love this look as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video very soon. I love you guys. Bye.